Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight and we've got another cool building stage on our Titan T51D Mustang. Uh, last time we went and finished the skirt that went around the canopy, got that all set up. It's absolutely gorgeous. This time we're going to work on the inside of the canopy. So I've taken the skirt off, no worries, it is still there and ready to be finished. But what happens is we have these two rails that you can see that go on the inside of the canopy, the part that we're going to live with every time that we fly this Mustang. And we need to finish this off. We don't want to just kind of have these uh, bare, you know, kind of tubes and an unfinished look on the inside. So the last part of just kind of metal work that we're going to do on the canopy is to go and create strips that go along and follow this really interesting curve that's inside of both of these tubes. We're going to round the edges. It's a very complex curve that happens there and create a sheet that we can put in place here and smoothly transition to cover those tubes and look like it's just a solid bar almost and, and a really beautiful piece that, uh, that we can live with on a regular basis and will really, uh, I think, finish off what we've got inside the cockpit every time that we are flying it. So I'm going to use the same process that I've done in the past that it works so well for the skirt. And that is I'm going to take some of this cardboard material. Again, this is material that you can get from any big box store like Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. It's used as flooring protection material during construction. So I've got this. I'm going to take strips of this and I'm going to put it in place over it, push through where the Clecos go into the holes I've already pre-drilled in there, figure all of that out and then mark where the cutting is going to happen. And when I take that off, that will show me what does the metal strip actually look like. That'll give me the piece that I need to cut out of metal, but not the shape. And then I'll be able to shape that in and we'll talk about how we're going to finish those edges. So let's get to work. I'm going to actually, sorry to have my back here to you, but I'm actually going to sort of start at the middle and work towards both ends, looking at what looks like it should work well. Now I can already see here what this is doing. So I can already see that I'm, I'm actually off in what I've got. It doesn't, it goes, it uh, obviously does not uh, go as far as I need it to go. So the nice part about uh, doing this is I can go and add some more material here um, to change the shape for where I'm going from here. And that's, the whole point of templating is so much easier to do it like this than to do it out of metal. Okay, so this shows exactly what the process is, what kind of happens here. And that is in this case that the curve didn't work. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the last point at which it does work and I'm going to cut it. and then change the angle from that point forward to what I need. And then patch them together and that'll show me what the curve is that I actually need. All right, so now I've got my first template kind of set up here and I'm just going to tape these together and then we'll make a second template uh, and um, we'll, I'll trace what those lines are and then we'll see how the second template lines up and then we can do the same process we did before. We'll go from this to uh, using the flashing material, which is really cheap aluminum, but it'll give me a much better piece. Uh, to a final piece. So let's see where we go and then I'll 
uh, really dive deep when we start bending it into place. All right, I've taken the paper template now and uh, laid it out, already traced it onto the aluminum. Now I'm gonna be able to cut it out and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we use the uh, uh, duplicators in order to get the holes correct as they go in. And then we'll see how this actually fits up against the inside of the canopy and really adding stiffness to uh, those two rails. And then the last step, if everything is all set there, is we'll be able to bend over the uh, edges and uh, see how well it fits. All right, cut is done. Now we can start uh, fitting it on. Okay, I've got both of these interior trim pieces all set. They're also going to brace, of course, the tubes that support the inside of the canopy. And now is the nerve wracking part. I say nerve wracking because it took a lot to get these right and get all the holes in the right place, get the sizing exactly right. But now I'm gonna use the bead roller to roll an edge on it so it matches those tubes as it goes over. And I'll tell you, using a bead roller on a long piece like this is fraught with difficulty because all you have to do is get it caught and it'll just chew the thing up. So I'm gonna be really careful now and I'm gonna do my best one person on this and try to feed this through um, the bead roller and uh, hopefully it'll put an edge that'll match the tube. If it doesn't do it in one pass, I've got another die here that is uh, going to help roll it over with a slightly larger radius. I'm going for the smaller radius first to get the edge over as much as I can, and then the larger slight radius if I need even more cupping to hold that in, because this is gonna go against our shoulders inside the aircraft. We want it to be as nice as possible. So, um, well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Okay, that one seemed to go pretty well. Whew, a little nerve wracking. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's show you what that looks like. There's our edge now. You can see it all rolled over like that. And um, now I'm going to uh, check it and see how it actually fits up against the tube. All right, this is remarkable. Take a look at that. It just curves over just nicely, right in this area, just perfectly. 
All right, that's it. The last stage of metalwork on our Titan T51, the Mustangs canopy. It is so cool. This is the part that's going to go on the inside. We're going to see this all of the time. And so I'm really excited about how it's come out. It's just, it's just super, super smooth and uh, it just fits perfectly, which I love. Everything worked out and fell into place, which doesn't always happen. And so now we will get to the last steps of finishing this. I'm actually going to go and get our folks at Amgen to go and um, make all of this black. We're going to powder coat the inside, make it really good. So I'll see you there when we do that. And, uh, and then we can get it all mounted up, do the mechanism next. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events, destinations, so many cool things going on. Our Fly to Win Challenge, where you can win some amazing prizes. And then, of course, every Tuesday evening, be sure to check out Social Flight Live. That's socialflightlive.com with some of the most inspiring guests from general aviation, air, and space. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Blue skies.